Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Gobbleman 7s channel. Back here today with you for another video. Uh, this video is just a quick, uh, a quick tutorial, a few steps. Um, if anybody owns a Xbox, the Series S, the new Series S or the Series X console, um, this will be a tutorial on how to, if you're having some difficulties, um, sort of uh, getting, a, if you're having a strict NAT type uh, for your internet connectivity. This is one very effective way that you can sort of work around that and get your NAT type from strict to open, which is uh, really critical for a lot of games. Um, if you have a strict NAT type, uh, for the most part, you can't even connect to most uh, online multiplayer servers and games. So it really, um, you can't barely use your console. So uh, stay tuned and we're gonna show you how to um, get your strict type, strict NAT, to open. Uh, there's a few other methods I use. I've used about three other methods uh, suggested. They didn't actually work for me. The NAT was still strict. Uh, so I believe that this um, this strategy and this tactic is the best way that you can get your NAT type from strict to open. So let's get right into it. So first you're going to go to the uh, settings. So I'm going to go into my settings on my main dashboard here in my Xbox X Series X. So settings and then you're going to go to uh, advanced settings um, or network settings excuse me so network settings first and then you're going to go to advanced settings now as you can see um, all the different uh, gateways and such um, you look at you can look at your IP and all the information here now if we back out of here as you can see my NAT type right now says open but before it was strict and that was uh, disabling me from entering games such as Halo Master Chief Collection Online, Call of Duty, Blo um, Cold War and most other multiplayer games so uh, what you have to do is you have to go to uh, first you have to go to advanced settings again first thing you'll do Obviously, for you, it will say NAT type strict. Um, and then after, if this is successful, it will say just like it appears on the screen, NAT type open. Once you get to advanced settings, um, select alternate port selection at the bottom here. And then the current port, uh, this is my current port, the one that actually works in getting it to open NAT type. So for you, you'd go down to manual, manual port selection. And you would cl click this drop down menu here. And see, this is the current port that actually worked in getting my NAT open. But in your case, yours will be strict. So the one that you'll be selected on will be the one that's giving the difficulties. And you would want to, in your case, you want to go down to the next port uh, number. So you just go to the next one down uh, from the one that you're currently on. And you once you do that, I'm not going to do that on mine because it would screw it up But because mine are, is already open. But you'd click A at that point once you go down to the next port down. So you click A and then you would click continue after you've selected the new port. And then at that point... Um, what you would do is once you've selected that port, that new port one down from the old one, you go back to, um, you want to test out your, um, you want to test your NAT type. So to test your NAT type, um, go to advanced settings again, or actually no, the NAT type is right here. Test NAT type. And this is what you'll see on your uh, screen. You'll see it'll check connection. And uh, once you've chosen the new port, it should work in opening that port once this procedure is done. And at that point, once this is done, your NAT type will be open. Let's just wait for it to finish here. All done, it looks like your NAT is open right now. So you go continue. 
um, once that's completed. And if for any reason it says to you your NAT is still uh, strict or moderate and it's still displaying that on this screen here where it says NAT type, uh, what you would do at that point is go back to the um, to the um, advanced settings. You want to go back to the screen where the ports are. Go back down to, again, this is only if you're not getting an open NAT, you would do this. Go back to alternate port selection. Go to manual. And then you would select a different port from the from the new ones that you selected. Remember, there's many ports, as I'll show you, that you can choose from. So I'm sure if the first couple don't work in, cre in uh, opening up that NAT type, uh, one of them not too far down the list will uh, succeed in in opening up your NAT type so that it can allow you to uh, really get the most out of your Xbox Series S or X and play online um, really get to use Xbox Live um, at 100% instead of uh, when it's strict it's at like 5% so you really want to get the most out of your Xbox Live and uh, Xbox internet connectivity so again, that's how you would what you would do in the case of it not uh, not working. Just continue to try different uh, ports in that screen, and um, until you get one that, and then you just once you start try a new port address, you would again test that NAT type over here after you click on it and continue, and then see if that port succeeds in opening up the NAT type. Uh, again, so that's a quick tutorial, guys. I've used other methods here uh, to open the NAT, and they've all uh, the only a few a couple other methods opened it for a limited time, a day or so, then it went back to strict, um, or some it didn't work at all and it was still strict uh, after I did the procedures. So this um, this has been open for a week now. Haven't had to do this step again. This port works very well uh, in keeping the NAT type open, which is exactly what you're looking for uh, as Xbox Series S and X owners. Again, guys, thank you very much. Uh, it was nice to do this tutorial video for you. Uh, this is Goblin Man 7 signing out. Have a good one.